Let's check out this guy. Open air outdoors. She likes to swim and she's a good strong swimmer. That's always a good thing. Well, I made it out to the open lake. And as you can see, conditions are uh, quite cloudy and a little bit of a north wind, but uh, the forecast was for a nine kilometer an hour north wind. That looks about right out here. So it's just a light breeze, but uh, that north wind means a little bit more thicker layer. Getting near the end of summer there now. I've already paddled past my campsite where I plan on camping, but I'm not gonna get set up right now. Really, um, I need the weight in this canoe. I need, I need it for ballast. I need the weight up front. So I'll wait till uh, much later this afternoon. I'm gonna keep fishing. As I was saying, I'm not gonna set up camp because I need the weight in the canoe to keep the bow down. But now I'm gonna have a little snack. Essie, Essie. Good boy. Oh, what's going on here? Geez, there's barely any water here, and and I got a fish. Oh, he let go. I saw there. It looked like it was a little bass. I'm not. Uh, I'm not overly pushing the uh, the fishing aspect of this outing. We had a big, big thunderstorm roll through yesterday. Yesterday evening, the biggest storm of the summer. And now we got a cold front that's coming in. We got a north wind. And uh, this heavy change in barometric pressure usually shuts down the fishing. So I'm not, uh, I'm not pushing the fishing. I don't have high expectations. All right. We got a little bass on the line. Nope. Not anymore. Okay, next bass. Hey Riley. You don't know what a bass is yet. Oh, jeez. Never mind. Okay, there we go. There's another bass. these these things are like piranhas come here hey 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 feisty little guy look that's a bass yeah what do you think of that <laughs> Hey, you, what do you think of these little things? I'm pretty sure those players on that alone show would be eating that. I know I would be.
this is home for the night. Nice little spot. Blueberries all over the place. I'll be harvesting some of that. Caught a few fish. Not going to eat any of those. I got other food. I wasn't uh, relying on a fish fry tonight. But, got a nice little spot there. I'm going to get rid of a few little pokey rocks. Set up tent. Gather some firewood. And just enjoy the evening. Well, I'm mostly set up. My bed is made. And uh, north is that way behind the canoe. So this little part of the island is wide open. The canoe is there. I might as well just use it to put my gear underneath because this cloud cover, some of these clouds are dark. So if there's a sprinkle of rain, at least my gear can stay dry under the canoe. The fire pit is a disaster, as always. I'm thinking I'm going to start a new company. Fire pit restoration. Because it seems like everywhere I go, if it's not a campsite that I build myself, the fire pit is a complete disaster. There's an old frying pan in here. This is a uh, enameled frying pan. It's a piece of junk, total piece of junk. Um, but I'll be taking it out. Yeah, I think this is the right time to address the elephant in the room. So for those of you who's been uh, <laughs> who's been following me, following the channel for uh, any length of time, you're all aware that um, in the new year, I had to say goodbye to my beautiful girl Misty. And I miss Misty. Over uh, over the course of winter, it was a long winter, and uh, come springtime, I made the decision to get another puppy. Everybody, meet Riley. Hey, puppy. Hi. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Riley's bringing a lot of uh, a lot of fun and a lot of joy in the home and I think he's going to be a great addition to open air outdoors and I look forward to showcasing Riley in the future. This is Riley's first camp out. Today was Riley's first time in a canoe. Riley has been in the boat. Um, so he has been introduced to the outdoors uh, I've taken him out in the woods and stuff like that and he's been in the boat so he's been around the water he knows how to swim and today the canoe was the next level up and everything went very very well today so I'm very happy
did you go in the water again? You look pretty uh, dripping wet there, Mr. Riley. Yeah, and you look pretty guilty too. Are you going in the water? Hey, are you going in the water? Look at your ears. Look at that. I have 710 milliliters of blueberries. Make that 700. The rest comes home with me for my wife. Wild blueberries. Ontario blueberries. Here in the uh, Subray Basin where I live, we have an actual uh, blueberry festival. Subray, Ontario is uh, considered um, a blueberry capital of the world. And Riley's been chasing after bees. I think he got stung earlier. He let out a yelp. He was jumping around in a blueberry patch with me. And he let out a little yelp. He jumped back and he ran off shaking his head and shaking his head. I checked him out. Seems okay, but I think something bit him back in there. Hey, Riley. Hey, did something bite you? Not allowed to get wet three hours before bedtime that's the that's camp rule camp rule number one no wet dogs minimum three hours before bedtime <laughs> yeah all right down you go you're all wet <clears throat> let's make a fire Today I'm going to use a trivet that I made a couple of years ago and I never got the chance to try it. Once my coals burn down a little bit I'll put that in the fire. Then I can put pots and pans on top of that.
The mist off the water last night was so heavy that the tent looks like it got rained on. Hey Riley, come on. Come on little puppy. <laughs> hey big boy. You stay out of the water this morning. Even all my gear that I put underneath the canoe to stay dry from the, the morning dew or whatever. Oh, oh, hang on. I guess I just got a fish. Hang on here. What did I get this morning? Oh, it just broke water. I think it's another bass. Oh, it might be a pike. It's fighting like a pike, actually. Oh no, it's a good, good bass. Riley's laying at my feet just watching it all happen. Oh, that show. I wish the camera would be facing it. It's, it's a fighter. He's got good weight. Oh, that's a keeper bass. Yeah, 100%. I'm gonna take that home. Let me move over where you guys can see me. Oh, it's a tank. This thing is a tank. Wait till I get it out of the net here. I gotta get a good grip on them. Let me get the hook out. You know, bass has to be big to be worth keeping because it's just not a lot of meat, just the way they're built. Let's check out this guy. Yeah. He's good, he's a good one. Probably like, I'd say he's probably three pounds. Good one, okay. Um, let me pause the camera. I was saying how the, the dew, the mist over the water is so heavy all night long, I guess. Everything is soaking wet and uh, even all the gear that I stuck under the canoe to stay dry, thinking the morning dew yeah, the mist off this water just rolled right in and inside the canoe. Everything's soaking wet this morning. All of my gear. And then even worse, I let I forgot my hat on top of the canoe. I should have brought it inside the tent, but I forgot it out there. I guess it's pitch black, right? I didn't see it, so I didn't think about it. And uh, my hat's soaking wet. Hopefully it dries off by the time I pack out of here and I can wear it on the way out if not oh well don't mind if I enjoy a little bit of coffee move your butt move your butt come on move it all right breakfast time to readjust my stove here. Riley, you're being a, a pain in the butt. Having an omelet this morning. Here's something, uh, a little trick for you guys. I was out, uh, I did a camp out with my buddy Doug from the Pinter Line channel not too long ago and we were talking about this. And uh, what we're talking about, 
Hang on one second here. Butter up my pan. We're talking about this right here. You make your omelet at home. Prepare everything at home. And once you got it all prepared, you put it inside a water bottle. Just a regular 500 ml water bottle. Throw away water bottle, disposable. They never leak these things. They're durable, they're squishy, and they never leak. And when it's time to do your omelet, Pour it in. Now it can go in the recycling. So everything went in here, the hot sauce, the seasoning, salt, pepper, everything went in here already. Oh my God, that smells good. When you have the luxury of being able to cook in the back country and, and you can set yourself up properly, it, uh, it just starts off the day right. And when you're planning to paddle all day or just trekking through the woods all day, you need that fuel first thing in the morning. Omelette wrap. Mm. Yeah, I do a quick mention. Last night I turned on um, the live stream. First time I did that. And I want to thank everybody for joining on the live stream and having a chat with me. It was great talking to you guys. Uh, certainly we'll do that again. And uh, it's rare that I have a uh, cell single so I can do it, but anytime that I will be able to do it, I'll certainly do it again. It was a lot of fun talking with all of you guys. Well, it was a fun little overnight adventure. Very successful with the puppy. He's assimilated to the canoe quite nice. I'm very pleased to announce to you all the new member of Open Air Outdoors. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of Mr. Riley and myself of course thanks everyone catch you on the next one